Me call, comes <coughs> uh, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Councilwoman Perkins Agusti? Yeah. Councilman Cuesta? Here. Councilman Grover? Here. Councilman Torres? Here. Councilman Gonzalez? Here. Councilman Keenan? Here. Councilman Sedenia? Here. Councilman Mazza? Here. President Goldman? Here. My name is President uh, Clerkman. This is a special meeting of the City Clerk, City Council. Oh, what a perfect purpose of considering the third party agreement deferred payment neighborhood stabilization program along with McGill Real Estate Holding LLC for the property located at 217 19 Street in the amount of $750,000. Notice that this special meeting was filed in the city clerk's office and posted on the bulletin board on November 14, 2013, and a copy of the notes was sent to the star ledger. On your tribute and complies with the provision of the open public meeting law of open public meeting laws of New Jersey. Uh, at this time, public uh, public uh, speaking. Anyone from the uh, resident or taxpayer like this address city council any matter, please step forward, take the name and address. You have five minutes. Once again, any resident or taxpayer like this city council any matter, please step forward. Uh, name that there for the record seen on closes portion of the meeting. Okay. We need a um, motion to remove. Uh, I'll uh, make a motion. A uh, motion by Councilman Grover to uh, remove from the uh, table. Second. And second by Councilman Question Councilman Gonzalez will give you both half. <laughs> We're getting used to it. Right? We're getting used to it. We got a change for it. Can I have a roll call, please? Councilwoman Perkins Agusti? Councilman Torres? Here. Councilman Keenan? Here. Councilman Sedania? Councilman Mazza? Aye. President Gorman? Aye. Okay. Aye. It's Authorize the proper city officials to execute a third party agreement with Medill Real Estate Holdings LLC Elizabeth as required under the terms of the State Neighborhood Stabilization Program for the acquisition of vacant land and construction of six apartment units located at 217 219 First Street to be rented to income eligible persons for a deferred payment neighborhood stabilization program loan in the amount of $750,000. You have to read another the resolution. What is your pleasure? Move that second. Any comments? Roll call. Councilwoman Perkins Agusti. Aye. Councilman Cuesta. Aye. Councilman Grover. Aye. Councilman Torres. Aye. Councilman Gonzalez. Aye. Councilman Keenan. Aye. Councilman Sedania. Aye. Councilman Mazza. Aye. President. Aye. 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 Motion to adjourn. Moves. Motion. Please call the order. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Councilwoman Perkins Agusti. Councilman Cuesta. Here. Councilman Grover. Here. Councilman Torres. Here. Councilman Gonzalez. Councilman Keenan. Here. Councilman Sedania. Here. Councilman Mazza. Here. President Goldman. Here. Madam. President Madam Clerk, this is a, this is a rescheduled regular conference of the City Council as incorporated in the annual meeting. Notice of 2013 quickly filed in the City Clerk's office and posted on the bulletin board on November 13, 2012. As sent to the Star Legend, Home News Tribune, and complies with the provision of the Open Public Meeting Law of New Jersey. Uh, public speaking, any resident or taxpayer like the City Council in the matter, please step forward to the name and address. Seeing none, close the question of me. Okay. Letter dated November 1, 2013, from the business administrator, recommending awarding a contract to Bayer Ford, Marstown, New Jersey, for the purchase of four 2014 Ford Police Interceptors at a cost of $114,915 under the Cranford Co op and one 2014 Ford Explorer at a cost of $33,373, totaling $148,288. Question? There you are. Letter date <coughs> November 1, 2013 from the Business Administrator, recommending awarding a contract to the sole bidder, Fleet Core Technologies Operating Company, LLC, doing business as Fuelman. Norcross, Georgia, for motor fuel usage and a billing system for the various departments for a period of two years in an amount not to exceed 
three million dollars. Any question? Rear. Letter dated November 14, 2013, from the business administrator recommending awarding a contract to Lewis Barbado Landscaping Inc., Holbrook, New York, for the purchase of 200 honey locust and thin oak trees to be planted throughout the city in residential areas under the Union County Cooperative Purchasing Contract at a total cost of $34,000. Uh, any question? I do, Mr. President. Quick. Um, can we find out what kind of root system these two trees have? I, I can assure you that you, you, know, you might be reading part of my mind, mind uh, but certainly, Councilman, uh, pin oaks is one of the worst trees that you can plant throughout the city. Uh, and for them to have pin oaks on this this uh, resolution is, is beyond me. Uh, honey honey uh, locust is not that bad, but pin oaks certainly is, is horrible. The root system goes sideways. Correct. Yeah, that's not good. Pin, pin oaks are horrible. Horrible. I'll let you know that right now. What they got on this list, I wouldn't want anything in a field water container right now. So honey, honey locusts is uh, they get little long locusts growing about that long. Uh, they use it brown, turn black. They, they uh, and that's that's the honey locust. But pin oaks are, are horrible. Can so, we um, can we hold this up and see if the director I, I, or, or somebody can find, come up with another alternative? I concur with that. Mr. President. Yes. For years, though, they've been using the little leaf linens. Yeah, little yes, leaf. and they got away from that. That's why. Yeah, I'd, li I'd like to know. I'd like to know. Why. Okay. Just, it, just, just, just so that everybody knows, and I, and I know Councilman Torres and I've had this discussion. They um, downtown, when they did some of this uh, streetscaping, uh -huh. they put some type of trees in there that, over the last, just took them three or four years, and the sidewalks and curbs around base of the tree or, or lifted already. Wow. <coughs> so it, it's a tree that whoever the architect was recommended. Yeah. But I think we have to start looking long term um, because if, if we're going to plant trees that are going to just destroy the sidewalks in four or five years, then we're, we're going backwards. Just Absolutely. Going backwards. So I, I think that whatever we do from now on as a city, we should be looking for root systems that are going to go down as opposed to sideways. Yeah. What, what you have here, now, especially, excuse me, especially pen oaks, you'll get that. Okay, we'll hold it up. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, that's what was good about the limited little bit. Yes. That their roots, they don't grow, they don't grow the sidewalks. Right. That's right. correct. Okay, so. That is correct, absolutely correct. And even the, um, the cherry blossoms, stuff, they, all, they all got that small root system. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. <coughs> I'm glad to see that we're all on the same page. <laughs> Good. Okay, letter dated November 18, 2013 from the business administrator requesting authorization for the proper city officials <coughs> to register members of the Elizabeth Fire Department and sign all necessary documents with Rutgers University and New Jersey Task Force 1 to provide ongoing specialized firefighter training for a period of two years affected upon city council confirmation. Any questions? Letter dated November 18, 2013 from the business administrator recommending awarding a contract to the sole qualified and responsible bid to System Engineering International, Frederick, Maryland for maintenance of UPS systems located at the Elizabeth Police and Fire Departments for a period of two years commencing from the date of award in an amount not to exceed $45,000. Any questions? Letter dated November 18, 2013, from the Chief Financial Officer requesting authorization for the proper city official. Did I miss the letter? No, I don't think so. Yes. There's one out of order. I did miss yeah. one. There's one out of order. The web based data on the access service. <coughs> okay, I'm going to go back. Oh, that was the one we held, right? No, no, the one right after. Web-based. Web-based. Okay. We went back to the trees. Yeah, we, we the trees. Yeah, I I missed one. Yeah, we okay. Trees. Letter dated November 14, 2013 from the business administrator recommending awarding a contract to Thompson Reuters, a division of West Publishing Corp. 
Egan, Minnesota for the purchase of web-based data access services for the Law Department and Municipal Court Division for the period November 1, 2013 to November 31st, 2013 and a cost not to exceed $10,000. Letter dated November 18, 2013 from the Chief Financial Officer. Requesting authorization for the proper city officials to submit a request to the Director Division of Local Finance to make corrections in the city's 2014 municipal budget to account for the city's share of grants approved subsequent to the adopted budget. Matching fund city share from $1 million to $982,800. Local <coughs> share Greening Union County from zero to $17,200. Any questions? And what is this for? What was the main dollar <coughs> for the <coughs> Matching funds, I'll tell you in a minute. My understanding is that the, the million dollars is a, a line item that's used as the ma a matching funds amount that can be applied when grants are accepted throughout the budgetary year. All right, so it's just a, a general. Several, several grants. That's all it is. Yeah, it could be used for anything. In this case, it's only being used for 17200 for a grant. Okay. 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 <coughs> okay. Letter dated November 18, 2013 from Chief Financial Officer advising that temporary emergency appropriations for the 2014 state fiscal year municipal and sewer utility budgets may be necessary. Good question. Good Letter dated November 20, 2013 from the Director of Public Works requesting permission to have liens placed against properties listed on Schedule A attached here too for the removal and disposal of debris from said properties in the amount of $7,813.70. Any questions? Letter dated November 20, 2013 from the Director of Public Works requesting permission to have liens placed against properties listed on Schedule A attached here too for the boarding up of said properties in the amount of $2,516.75. Any questions? Letter dated November 4, 2013 from the police director requesting to install a stop sign warning 100 feet before both existing stop signs at the intersection of Myrtle Street and Greer Avenue. Any questions? Yes, Mr. President, we want to thank uh, Lieutenant Marcus and Traff for uh, you know, making at least this type of recommendation. I would have liked before we stop, but unfortunately, the numbers didn't, uh, you know, suit that. Right. So, this was the best that they could do, you know, try to uh, help out that intersection over there. So, I uh, appreciate what they've uh, put forward to see if it certainly alleviates the problems we're having over there. Okay. Good Letter dated November 15, 2013, from the police director requesting to establish a three-way stop at the intersection of 4th Street and Marshall. Any questions? Isn't that up there already? Uh, it's under the bridge. Yeah, I know where it is. Is it supposed to fort the other section? Okay. You okay? Very well. Letter dated November 15, 2013 from the police director requesting to establish a three-way stop at the intersection. Wait a minute, I just one? read that. Yeah, yeah. Are yeah. these both the same? No. Yeah, these two. They sent two letters the same. Two letters the same. I thought it was up for an error. Okay. They sent two letters. Okay. We have a commendation for Our Lady of Fatima Church. They're celebrating their 40th church anniversary with a solemn mass at 11.30 a.m. on Sunday, December 8, 2013. And another commendation for uh, Coop 23 Boy Scouts of America. They will be presenting two scouts with the Eagle Award, uh, Mr. John William Noonan, Third and Sean Curtis Spillane. 
November 30th, Saturday, 2013, 2 o'clock, St. Church. Mm -hmm. uh, also in your package, you have the Fair Rental Housing Board minutes of September 18, 2013. Yes, that's really good. Um, a farm field, some residents came to me and they wanted to know why we weren't putting any um, night lights up at that location. And I just wanted to look into that. Um, Frank, I, I believe you're aware of this, that we're not putting any night lights up at a farm field. I requested, but the, uh, the director said it wasn't necessary. Uh, the committee, that's what it felt. But it is necessary. They're going to put only some pole lights in the area, like uh, where the children are playing. The several residents who live in that community um, asked me if I can advocate in their behalf um, that we get those night lights up because all the fields, all the new fields in the city have night lights. And um, just like I explained to the um, director of um, public works, that if the game, or if they play something and they get dust, they're right. not going to be able to see. Right. So, and they don't keep them all all night, they just simply keep them on for the use of the organized sport. So, um, Don, as you represent the administration, can you can we look into this? Because it really doesn't make sense <laughs> to build a field in the 21st century and not put night lights up. Absolutely. I mean, it just, I don't. Especially since we're spending too many dollars. Excuse me? Especially since we're spending too many dollars. Yeah, it just, yeah. I thought, I thought that was a given. Yeah, to me, some, some things should be given. Um, it's a rate over three million for your information. Okay, but then it should be given. And there was not even one thing approved for the request of the ward council from the people of the area. It was a decision made by three people and the administration. Simple as that. And you guys voted one evening, if I remember correctly. Yeah, but the, the, residents, no? the residents live right across the street from there came to I the understand, place. but the same people, according to Mr. Peperi, they disagree also. They don't want, uh, you know. Yeah, but you don't keep them on the all I night. understand. Well, the, the way it is down, down yeah. at the waterfront is you, the, you per, the lights are on until the permit is over, which is usually 10 o'clock. 10, 10.30, right, Carlos? 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. And, and then the lights go cool. It's 10 o'clock. Even at Pure Rizzuto, when their lights, it's 10 o'clock. Even if the game is still going, 10 o'clock. The lights go off. It's on, it's yeah. on time. And they're not on every night. It's only when, you know, there's a game. Okay. When there's a permit being. So we really need yes. to, as, an, as a council, it really doesn't make sense um, for us to allow those fields to be built, built without those lights. I second your recommendation. So can you let the administration know? Absolutely. Okay. Sure. That's all I have, Mr. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Councilman Torres? I'll pass. Uh, Councilman Keenan? Pass. Councilman uh, uh, Gomer? Pass. Mm -hmm. Councilman Mazza? Yeah, Mr. President, I think it will be a year now that I requested to have a, a study made uh, for whatever general company that we pay uh, money to work. I don't know what is the name of the company. But a letter went to our uh, police director or wherever the people that were in charge for traffic to put a uh, uh, three-way stop on John Street if it was visible and it was okay. And one year went by, we didn't get any answer back. Uh, Yolanda, you do have a record on file that was requested a year ago. Uh, I don't John, know. John what? where? John and Fourth? John, John Street and, and Fourth Avenue. Fourth Avenue. So uh, you, you could actually get the copy that you have on record and send them the second request okay. and see what happened. I don't know why we paid somebody to take. You know, you have to wait a year to get an answer. That's why we, we went and hired this. You know, that's why, right? So that's good. We'll, we'll get an answer. We'll get an answer. Unless oh, we're getting a breakfast out of it. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. We'll get a breakfast out of it. Anything else? Councilman, anything else? Oh, uh, that's it, Mr. President. Okay. Councilman, question? <laughs> okay. okay uh, Councilman Sedenga. Pass. Councilman Gonzalez. Pass. Mm. Wow. <laughs> you got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a super bowl. Close to your jersey.